Alright, welcome to Mission 7 Help Guide, Rise and Fall. It took a little bit more than I thought it would, so don't take it lightly. There's a lot of enemies, a lot of fighting scenes, and what you want to use is up to you for this mission. Uh, I can scroll through each of the combat systems, so can't really tell you what ones you because I use all of them. But, I will say this, the ASPs at the end, there's three of them, so if you want to use the hacking ability it will definitely be worth doing but at the same time in between those sequences is a lot of humans so fire swarm will also help a lot whatever you want to use it up to you but starting off you just want to if you have fire swarm release it if you don't then just hug the left wall uh, right in the corner peer around take out the guys on the right keep moving around and there will be a lot of enemies up on the top balcony so pick them off, use the pick and lead technique if you haven't seen these videos before then that's literally just in and out, in and out of cover while shooting really quickly so give that a go there's not actually too many here, there's about 15 to 20 your teammates do a fair bit of work as well so just pick them off as quick as you can and keep moving up I would say move around the right hand side just because when you try and walk up the stairs they will take you out super easily in one shot so get this bit done move on all right now this is the part that absolutely screwed me over it literally took me an hour just to figure out how to do this part all you want to do is mainly use the spike drone to kill the enemies there's a lot of ammo crates to the left and the right to use but what you want to do is hug the cover uh, if you have fire spawn of course use that Hacking ability doesn't work too much here because the enemies constantly spawn back in, which is kind of gay. Very hard to do, but basically, uh, there's I think there's two on the right and two on the left that you have to plant. So whichever way you want to go first, it's up to you. I did the right. There's a lot of cover, and what you want to be doing is literally take out as many as you can, making sure you've got enough ammo. Because I've done that before. It's freaking annoying. You get there. If you don't have any ammo in the spike, then you're deaded. Take them out, plant your spike, sprint back into cover. It's the best way to do this. It is really extremely hard. The best bit of cover I say is left side is this bit that I'm on now. I had to use camouflage to get most of them done. So if you can scroll through your wheel, put on camouflage, changing your abilities, it's definitely worth doing. But on the right hand side, I just stick into the left. You see the gate there, three robots drop down, left, middle and right, so take them out, plant it, spin back into that bit of cover. Now on the right hand side, there's a sort of brick wall sort of thing over here that you can peek through to take out the enemies. Take them out, if you have camouflage, put it on, spike down and sprint back to cover. Because there is about a five second delay before the checkpoint actually saves, so you need to be in cover as soon as possible just keep going you'll get it done eventually all right this next part is when you want to use your swarm if you have it on it's going to be literally 50 enemies from here up until the next area so they're all human you want to take them out with the fire swarm if you can if you can't then do what i'm doing peek around the corner pick them off they don't spawn back i'm pretty sure of that so once you take them out be careful do it nice and slow once they're all done move along Get to this next point, uh, you want to six to the right hand side by the way if you're moving up. Uh, you want to hug this left wall on this next part because there will be a few on the left and a few snipers up in front of you. You can take them out pretty damn easily. Then move on to the building left of you and there will be a few rolly droney thingies so don't know what they're called but you need to take them out. They shouldn't hit you from this little bit of cover here. You can see when they're firing because they're pretty far away. Just move to the side in cover whenever they fire the red triangle should appear and you get used to what noise they make when they charge up so pick off the enemies again a few snipers at the back the rest of them though I believe are just soldiers on the ground on the left hand side not the hardest to take out okay the final part of the mission is probably the hardest and is the reason I told you to use the hacking ability if you do have it but what you want to do is hug the cover going up to that big ass brown building on the right hand side and upstairs, hiding behind the window, you shouldn't get shot by anything if you're quick enough peeking in and out. But what you want to try and do, if you have hacking 
on is to hack into ASP. Now you can take out everything with ease if you do it this way. So I'm gonna create some there too. But literally, if you don't have it, you're gonna struggle a lot. And you're gonna have to use the RPG that you have to try and pick off the big ASP. It's gonna be hard to do. It's doable, but it's a lot easier if you have the hacking ability on. You can see you just cheekily move up and down. They can hit you, so be aware of that. Jump down if you need. But literally, once you have it, just savage everything. And there will come a point where it gets destroyed, and there'll be another ASP that comes in. So just do exactly the same again, and you should be fine. For the guys that aren't doing that method, though, I would just say stay in cover as much as possible. Assuming that you have your fire swarm on, use that whenever you can. And try and take out all the other enemies before you take out the ASP. Because ASP honestly isn't too hard to take out if you're not being shot at. Just wait till it turns around. Your fire swarm actually distracts it, so if you release that, shoot it with an RPG, you should get it done with a fair amount of ease. So, hope this has kind of helped you. And if there's anything that you didn't understand or want to ask anyway, just leave it in the comments below, I'll get back to you as soon as I see it. But it's actually not the worst mission, just the spike drone bit is gonna completely cock everything up. You see what I mean when you try it, but uh, other missions are in the description in the playlist if you want to check them out. Other trophy guys also on my channel, so I hope you guys <laughs> get it done. Darling, I will be loving you